So we're looking at chapter seven and eight, and under our assignments, uh, we have, and if you're just finding these videos online and you need some help, um, we have uh, these resources here for you. And the resource is at this URL right there. Up, 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 up. This URL right there. And then there's a YouTube whole playlist. So they're the resources. Um, and uh, we have these assignments, chapter three, chapter seven, and eight. And then we have set theory, and we talk about an intersection, a difference, and a union. And um, so I guess maybe we'll look at that first, and that's basically chapter seven. And then we have chapter eight, where we do inner joins, and we start working on inner joins. And so inner joins is a little bit of a hurdle, but once you get it, it's totally cool. And by the end of class today, the end of these videos, you're going to completely understand how to do inner joins and stitch that together. Um, so uh, first we'll just take a look at set theory and we'll do that by looking at these homework assignments. And so I really like the pictures and I can't draw pictures on this uh, computer screen easily, unfortunately. I've not figured out that. But I like the like overlapping circles. So if we have overlapping circles, the Venn diagram, Venn diagram. Uh, if we just look at those images, come here, baby. So the intersection is going to be like this part right here. My mouse is getting squirrely. I don't know why. It'd be this A intersection B, this part right there. That's the intersection. So we have some set A, some set B, and then the intersections, that stuff right there. So if we look at the intersection of 1, 5, 8, 9, 32, 55, 78, 1, and 3, 7, 8, 22, 55, 7, 71, 99, the intersection of those two is going to be what numbers they have in common. They have 8 in common, and then they also have 55 in common. That's the intersection. Is that what other people got? Right? That's from the book. And then we have the difference. And the difference is kind of like subtraction, which is why we say, what's the difference between 4 and 2? Or let's say, what's the difference between 5 and 3? It's 2. It's 5 minus 3. And so it's the first one minus the second one. So the difference of set 1 minus set 2, here we have these numbers. Here we have those numbers. We're going to take out 8. So 8 is going to get taken out. And we're going to take out 55. So we're left with 1, 5, 9, 32, 78. That's the difference of set 1 minus set 2. And I'm just going to confirm this because I'm new to it too. So I'm looking in the textbook, chapter 7, uh, thinking in sets. And, uh, and the intersection, what did I say the intersection was on this previous one? First one minus the second one. The intersection. What's the intersection of those two sets? What did I say it was? Minus the what's common on the second. No, but what's the what are the numbers? Eight and fifty-five. Eight and fifty-five are the intersections. That's what I said. All right, cool. I'm just checking that. That's what the book says, and uh, it's that that part in the middle. So I'm just confirming that in the book. It's that part in the middle, the A intersection B, and then the difference is going to be. On 378, 22, 37, okay, so my, oh, 1589, 32, 55, 78, 1589, 32, 55, 78, and 378, 22, 55, 71. The difference is going to be 159, 32, 78. So 159, let me just make this bigger. But it's set one minus set two, the difference between set one and set two, right? So it's, What's is taking set one and subtracting whatever's in common with set two. We could also say what's the difference of set two minus set one? And that's going to be what? It's going to be seven, three, seven, twenty, seventy-one, Yeah, so it's this one minus eight and fifty-five. All right, it's that one minus eight and fifty-five, because that's what's in common. So that's the difference. I'm not sure what that would look like. Let me see if they have a picture of it. So the picture of that is going to be like 
set theory, the picture of that is going to be A minus this, what's in common. If we say the difference of A and B, it's, it's A, it's this green part without this part, right? So the intersection is this part. The difference of A and B is that. The difference of B and A is this blue part minus that. That's difference. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Outer join. That's chapter 9. And then we have a uh, union. And so the union is going to be the whole deal and not repeating. So the union of all of that is going to be 1, 5, 8, 9, 32, 55, 78, 3, 7, 22, 71, 99. We're not going to repeat 8 and 71. Or sorry, 8 and 55. So 1, 5, 8, 9, 32, 55, 78, 3, 7, 22, 71, 99. That's going to be the union. I'm just kind of comparing that between the book and this. And, uh, and the union is like this whole deal. It's A, A, intersection B, B, but without duplicating what's in this area. So that's the union. So we have intersection, which is this part right here, A intersection B. We have difference, which would be like outer join or outer join. This one here, A, difference B. You know, it's like this stuff without that. Or it's this stuff, B, without this. That's difference. And then we have union, which is the whole deal, the whole thing. Okay, but without having duplicates right there. So that's just kind of set theory. No big deal. Just I think it's FYI where this all came from. Now we're going to see how to do inner join. So if we in the next video, if we had, you know, customers and phone numbers, how do we connect them in two different tables and pull the data out? And that's where it becomes practical.